Hey everyone, it's Kayla from The Casual Crafter, and today we're going to be making a whole bunch of DIY ornaments using mostly Dollar Tree items. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so here I'm just taking some binder clips. They're the really big ones that you can get in a pack from Dollar Tree. There's six in the pack. And I'm just taking some of these small beads. They happen to fit perfectly on there. I'll leave a link down below to the ones I got off of Amazon. So I just put those on there, and then I'm just taking some black and white ribbon. You can use any ribbon that you want. I'm going to be tying a bow. Just kind of a general bow. It's not anything special. And then I trim off the ends. Once that's on there, I'm going to take a little bit more of the ribbon and kind of loop it around. And then I'm going to glue that loop around the top there. And then I'm going to glue it so it stays in place. And then I'm going to glue that bow right on top of there just to hide that top part. And there you have like a little wooden bead wreath ornament. So up next, I'm just taking some black yarn that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm wrapping it around my hand uh, probably 15 times or so. I don't know exactly. And then I'm just going to tie that off. I'm just making a tassel here. I don't know if you've ever done one before. But I actually make the string a little long at the end so that I can make it into an ornament. So I'm going to tie that bunch of string just at the top. And then I'm going to tie it just a little bit down from the top. And you can make these in any color, it doesn't have to be black. So once that's done, I'm just taking a few more wooden beads. I'm going to string those through. I end up getting some tape, I believe, to help me with that. The yarn's a little thick and a little hard to get through there, so. So like once I get that pulled through, I, help, I use the pliers to help me a bit. I'm going to put another bead on. I think this one's slightly smaller than the first one, just to give it some dimension. And then I add another one of the larger ones on at the end as well. Once those are done, I'm just going to tie a little knot at the top so I can hang it. I'm going to be doing a similar thing with this off-white yarn that I got at Dollar Tree. Again, just making a little tassel. So once the tassel's made, I'm going to be taking a few more wooden beads. I think I end up actually just doing one. I decided I liked the look with just the one bead, so again, I trimmed it and just tied off the top. And you could make a bunch of these. These would look really cute on a tree, depending on what style you're going for. You could also make this into an angel with the white and the little wooden bead. It kind of looked like an angel to me without wings, so. So here I'm taking a bunch of the tumbling tower pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to be gluing them together in groups of four, just using some hot glue. You could use a different kind of glue if you want. But... Once those are all glued together, I'm doing three of them. I'm just going to drill a hole in the top. I didn't mark or anything, you obviously could if you want. And 
probably should be a little more careful than I am doing this, but yeah, so I just drill a hole. So I'm here, I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in white. I'm just going to be giving those a good coat, maybe two, just to make sure they have some pretty good coverage. I feel like the tumbling tower pieces kind of mimic the look of shiplap. That's what I'm trying to go for with the white effect, so. So once those are done, I'm just taking some bows that I got from Walmart. You can make bows yourself. These are just kind of tiny and I tried to trim them down even more because these are pretty small ornaments. So once I have that trimmed down to where I want, I'm going to be drawing out in pencil the words I want to say on each ornament. I'm trying to go with that kind of Ray Dunn style of font. Here I just wrote joy. And I'm going to write Noel. And I recommend doing this in pencil first, obviously, so then you can go back if you make a mistake and erase it. And then I'm going to be writing ho 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 on this one. Once those are done, I just go back over them in black sharpie. You could go over with paint if you really want, or like a paint marker. So I'm just going to glue this buffalo check bow on the top. And then I'm going to use some different ribbon for the other ones. And this little tiny one I got from another ornament actually. But, and I'm just going to use some twine and a little hole so I can hang them. And I think these are some really cute ornaments that go with that farmhouse kind of style. Up next we got some neutral kind of ornaments for using some garland ties. I just got those from Dollar General I believe. Dollar Tree has them as well. I was just having trouble finding them. So I'm just going to be trimming these in little sections. You, you could also use Dollar Tree's garland that comes in like 15 feet I believe. But here I'm going to be giving them a little haircut. They're a bit long for my liking and for what I wanted for this ornament so I trimmed them down a bit. Be aware this is very messy so. So I'm just going to glue those to the popsicle stick, just in the center there, making sure to leave a little bit of room at the top. So here I'm taking one of those stickers you can get at Dollar Tree. It's a gold shiny star. I didn't really want the gold shiny side, so I put that down and took the little adhesive dot off the back. And I'm just going to be gluing that to the top of my tree. I'm going to be doing a similar thing with some just popsicle sticks. And I didn't measure any of these out, I just kind of eyeballed it.
Again, I'm taking one of those stars just from the sticker packs and gluing it to the top. Once that's all glued, I'm going to be taking these buttons. You can get them in different color packs from Dollar Tree. I've seen like a more like black and brown pack, but this was a more rainbowy color pack. But I went through and picked out some small buttons that were in more neutral tones, some like tans and greens. And I just laid those out on my trees and then glued them down. I'm going to be gluing down some twine on the back of each of my ornaments just so I have something for them to hang from. And yeah, I think these are some really cute neutral style ornaments. These next ones are really simple. I'm actually just taking one of those 15 foot garlands you can get at Dollar Tree, a eucalyptus pick that was 97 cents at Walmart, a set of these two ornaments, clear ornaments that you can get at Dollar Tree, they're just plastic, and a package of the mini pine cones you can get at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to be trimming off a couple pieces of eucalyptus from that stem from Walmart, and I'm just going to be putting these in my clear ornament. I'm using a pencil just trying to, to get them to lay how I want them to. And you could leave it like that, but I decided to put some of the, a mini pine cone in there as well with them. I'm going to be doing a similar thing with this piece of garland. You could always use the garland ties they have as well. I'm just going to be putting a little piece in there and finding a pine cone that fits in there and closing it up. And that's all you have to do. These are really simple ornaments and I think they look really chic and great on a tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and like and comment down below what your favorite ornament I made today was. Also let me know when you guys set up your trees for Christmas when you decorate them. Is it before Thanksgiving? Is it after? Do you wait until December? Let me know. So thanks again. Bye!